Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony. Today is another episode of Plant Shopping. I made a couple of stops today and the first stop is at my local Lowe's. It is a good day when you arrive and you find a box like this. It means that the shipment has arrived and indeed this Lowe's have just received a new shipment of plants and right here I am looking at these um, Daffenbeckia or Dunkings that are looking a little bit um, like they're in distress, probably need a drink. But behind that plant there are so many others and so many hanging basket. Right away I found this neon uh, syngonium that is very full in a hanging basket. It is going for $15. Next, I was able to find several baskets of Hoya Crimson Princess. Just look at the size of the leaves on these uh, Hoyas. That is a very healthy plant. I'm going to move down this row here, and it looks like they have several baskets of ferns, spider plants as well as golden pothos and you guys this is amazing um, we had a dry spell here for a few months and now um, the greenhouse at Lowe's at my local Lowe's is packed with new plants and look at this what I just touched was a variegated lipstick plant um, they don't look so well. Some of them don't look so well, but some of them look good. Um, I actually got a basket last year of the same kind of lipstick plant. And uh, at first, when I took the, uh, the plant home, uh, it lost a lot of leaves. Um, just because these uh, lipstick plant, variegated lipstick plant, do not uh, ship well at all. Um, and sometimes when they do get to the store, the employee usually douse them with water, which in turn make things kind of worse. Um, they will experience a little bit of root rot uh, due to the watering. Um, just take a look at this uh, basket right here. You guys can see that the leaves are beginning to wilt. So I'm, I'm thinking that is a combination of desiccation and also over watering. But uh, the plant will uh, rebound if you give it, you know, some TLC. Um, so I am going to continue to look around and see if there's anything else uh, worth uh, mentioning to you guys. Again, the Hoya Crimson Princess is so lush in this basket here. It is a Costa Farms hanging basket and these baskets are $20. I love how perfect the leaves look. Before we get any further, if you guys like content like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more plant content and more plant shopping. I thought that I have found a variegated Monstera Peru. However, on closer examination, <laughs> there's a golden pothos inside of this pot. Darn it. I thought that I found a unicorn, but oh well. Um, I'm glad that this Lowe's have Monstera Peru as well as Monstera Addisonii. Look how healthy and full this Baltic Blue Pothos is. And look at this giant basket of golden pothos. I love the variegation on this plant. It is so underrated. And this is a great find. This is Hoya Hoyetii. I did a review on this plant a couple of months ago. If you guys are curious, please look in the playlist. 
And when I was at another Lowe's, I was able to find another basket of Hoya Wayeti along with this red Maranta. This Lowe also has one last philodendron square forum. Last time I've seen this philodendron was at my local Walmart. They received a shipment of them. However, that shipment uh, had cold damage and they were still selling these plants for $50 and I just couldn't uh, spend that much money on a damaged plant. The next plant that I found at this low is the Pink Star Calathea. This Calathea looks amazing. Uh, I really love the color on Calathea, uh, this Calathea in particular. However, I have already sworn to myself that I will not get another Calatheas. Uh, Calatheas are very hard to take care of in my environment and they always seem to attract spider mites and I do not want a spider mite infestation. Well, thank you so much for watching this video you guys. Again, this is Tony. If you like content like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Please take care of yourself and your plants.